Okay. Nothing to see here, officer. She's out for a drive, sitting on the side of a canyon in a 600 horsepower Porsche. This week, we head out to Southern California, where I get behind the wheel of some wild Porsches. All right, we're out here in Huntington Beach, California, BBI Autosport, checking out these amazing Porsches. These guys are building the sickest cars, anything from your ultimate street car, even all the way to Pikes Peak Hill Climb race cars. I'm gonna hop inside and see what they're working on. Woo, man. Tim, right? Yeah, well, how are you? BBI, how are you doing? Very good, this is, place is nice. Yeah, thank you, this is like the showroom. It. Right cool. here. This is a car that we're doing a four liter stroker on. This is an original GT2 that we're gonna do about 850 horsepower package on. Full on GT2 just sitting in the lobby. Yeah, huh? let me show you the business end of the shop. Yeah, yeah. We've got a variety of stuff happening here. We've got our Pikes Peak effort. We're doing a fuel cell conversion in it due to rules and just prepping it for this year. So like a carbon case and then uh, four in-tank pumps and, and should get the job done. It's a lot of fuel. It is. <laughs> How yeah. much power does that thing make? Uh, it's right around 700 wheel. At that level, it's consuming a gallon of fuel in miles, so. It's, uh, fuel management's important. So is the big tank necessary. Yes. Got it. What you guys got going on in this? So we've got a chassis table here. We've yeah. got a, um, a Cayman as a donor project. What we're gonna do is build a mid-engine GT3. Keeping most of the chassis, but just kind of hogging out the inside to fit a yeah. GT3 motor, you said? Yeah, one of our 4.25 liter strokers that we're gonna be doing a um, E85 conversion on. And we're gonna run a 12 inch That'd wide front legit. wheel. And, uh, <laughs> so sure. Things, yeah, things are gonna Why be five inches wider on each side and then 13 inch wheel in the rear. And be a little pit bull. Why not? So this car started life as a 2007 GT3 Cup car. It won the championship in class uh, last year. So we're really wow. stoked on that. Craig did an amazing job in Blackstar piloting the car and it, uh, now it's time to go a little bit more. So you guys definitely do a ton of race car work and this is like your typical everyday customer? Everything we learn in the racing and all the cup cars and the RSRs and Pike Speak stuff kind of trickles down all the way to Into the, your everyday car. Yeah. Ah, that's perfect. You got um, like a fab room, do some more yeah. custom work? Yeah, let me take you back. Cool. Watch your head. This is the fab shop right here. This is Louis nice. welding up the exhaust on the GT3 after it got tacked up and uh, we'll move over into the washer. Cool. Just do all your work in house. So this is the clean room where all the dirty parts start, go through the ultrasonic tank and then through the sink and then from there into the engine room. Uh, build all the engines in here. We do a lot of the research and development and try to see how much stuff we can break and not break. This thing's gonna be a lot of fun. It's a GT3 engine as it sits, but we're gonna turn it into kind of a hybrid twin turbo GT3-ish engine. It's going in a 997 GT2 that we're gonna try to go 240 miles an hour with in Idaho. Actually, the motor very similar to this. Uh, we just were running about 1500 horsepower at the Texas Invitational, um, racing against a bunch of other Porsches, a lot of cars alike, and end up spinning around, losing a tire, going across the traps at 180 miles an hour. At 180 blew a tire? Backwards. Oh my God. And still able to be the fastest 911 out that No event. way. Yeah. <laughs> Just super impressive work you guys are doing here. It's really amazing. Taking race car technology, engine building, suspension tuning, and just applying it down to your everyday street car. Yeah, no, it's, it's awesome. I really, uh, really appreciate you coming down and checking it out. Yeah, of course. We just finished up a 997 Turbo. Yeah. Uh, let's go take it for a rip. Let's do it. All right. One of the most important things about high performance driving is proper maintenance. You never want to show up to the track with an inconsistent brake pedal. So always make sure to bleed those brakes and top off the fluid. So you're going to be taking the 997 Turbo out. It's making nice. 630 wheel, E85. It's going to be a lot of fun in the canyons, all wheel drive. However, it's a $200,000 car and I know you're drifters, so the keys come with a chaperone. That will be all right. Wow, that was awesome. It's really cool to see what BBI Autosport is taking from their race cars and applying to these streetcar builds, and you could definitely feel it in the canyons. 
Why don't you tell me in the comments below what your favorite road is to drive on? But that's all we have for this week on Garage Tours. We'll see you next time.